looking to use the X32 as a door controller, we go into our main setup menu and then we go across to the remote tab. We have a number of options. So we have to enable this option because it does screwy things. If you enable it, it means that you sort of lose access to your channel strips that you're working on in live sound, but we need to enable this. The next set of options here give you your two options for Mackie control mode or Huey. So we're going to be showing you how to do it in Pro Tools and assign this controller. And then we have uh, generic control messages, which is some MIDI type arrangement. So we can actually send MIDI out of here, but we want to use the card MIDI. We have MIDI control interfaces where we can actually change information for the channel strips and scene setting, things like that. But we're not going to be worrying about that here. We just wanted to look at this remote section. So everything is now set for what we need to connect it into Pro Tools. And then to activate the door remote with Pro Tools open, you just press this button here. And as you can see, it lights up red when um, door remote is active. So if that is una una enabled or disabled, that button doesn't work at all. So you need to enable a button. So I'm just going to quickly jump over to Pro Tools and show you how to install the X32 as a door remote. Now, if we go into Pro Tools and we want to set the XUSB up as a controller, we will go to Preferrals, third tab along to MIDI controllers, select Huey, then Receive, Send to XUSB, and as discussed, we can only use the right bank of eight faders. So now, if we go in, we can see that I've got five tracks organized. And if I jump over to the mix window, you can see that we're input monitoring my voice from the desk. I'll just hit the door remote button, which is we have enabled, and that has moved the faders up. You can see that I'm just moving the faders. I've got full access to mutes as well, solos, and you can solo multiples if you want. And then you can also select channels as well. So you can pick through. You get quite good functionality just for the channel strips. Um, quite useful. You can also use the faders for recording automation, things like that. So that is how to set them. So we'll go back to the desk view and I'll show you exactly what we've got set up. So we've enabled the door remote functionality on the board. We've set it up in Pro Tools. And now I want to just show you what the um, the desk look like when you're using it. So we've got everything set up. If I hit door remote, you see that everything comes into play. You'll see that the fader strip faders act as the faders they're being used for. Then we have the opportunity to mute these channels. The scribble strips actually give you a condensed version of the name of the channel. The solos also work, and then in Pro Tools we can select channels and groups of channels like that. So you are now controlling Pro Tools with the X32. Something I have done, which I find really useful, is I have mapped my assign controls here to be transport controls for Pro Tools. 
Um, if you go to my assign video, or my assign menu video, which is in the same playlist, you will also be able to go through that process. But I'll just quickly run you through what I've got. I've got save, undo, bank left, bank right, because you can only have your eight faders, so it gives you the ability to bank through. Then I've got record, I've got return, so the return is moves the playhead back to the beginning of the tune, and then I've got play and stop. Just gives me better access. And that's how I work with my X32 and Pro Tools.